So we're currently here at the Garces Farm in Pangantukan, Bukidnon. So this farm uh, sits at an elevation of 1,300 to 1,400 meters above sea level. And it's located within New Eden, Bukidnon. This farm is actually owned by the Garces family and they just started growing, planting coffee at the start of the pandemic. So this is a literal pandemic project. Now, um, this farm has been making waves in the coffee industry locally in the Philippines because the coffee scores at a level of 86, 87 points by uh, certified Q graders. Now, one of my favorite things about this farm is that they actually categorize and specify and tag the specific coffee varieties and cultivars. So they have actually a literal tag on what this certain tree is in terms of its varietal and cultivar. So this is a sweet coffee. Uh, that's what the locals coined this specific varietal, but it's actually reminiscent and connected to the Ethiopian land race. So it's technically Ethiopian heirloom, and it has a lot of uh, connections to its sensory cup profile. So uh, this coffee, we enjoy a lot of floral characteristics such as jasmine, orange blossom. It also has that high quality sweetness at the same time, it also has a very juicy mouthfeel. So one of my favorite parts about this farm is that as they actually grow their coffee trees under shade of falcata trees. Now, these falcata trees provide a really good uh, shade for the coffee trees so that they don't get harsh sun exposure. And at the same time, it also helps provide a better growing condition for the coffee because the temperature now, as we speak, is actually around 14 to 16 degrees Celsius. And this is really great for the coffee. So overall, this coffee, when we drink it blind, it reminds us of an Ethiopian washed or natural coffee. And what we've noticed about the coffees that they produce is that it has a very clean profile. We can mistakenly say it's an Ethiopian natural or Ethiopian washed coffee. 